hello and welcome in this video i will show you how to log the messages and errors in a drupal first i will give the overview about the loggers loggers in a drupal are used to record events errors warnings and other relevant information that occur during the execution of drupal website or application logging helps developers to diagnose and the troubleshoot issues monitor performance and gain insight how users interact with the site in a drupal the logging system is built on top of the psr3 logging standard which is the php standard for logging libraries in drupal by default logs messages are logged into the databases but it is also possible to configure the loggers to write messages to other destinations such as files syslog or emails or any external logging system like as kibana etc to start this first we need to enable the database logging model which is the core model now i will install this model the database login model is enabled now in a drupal there are eight types of logs first is emergency alert critical error warning notice and the info so in the info we can add any info and in a notice if there is a notice we can add in the warning we can add the warning now i will show you how to log these messages in the database so for that i have already uh, this api controller and in that api control there is one function save api data so this function creates the node in that i will show you how to add the logs to the database so for that we will use the drupal colon colon logger and okay inside this we need to mention the our module name module name is the hello world hello underscore world so using this you can sort the messages after that i want to add the info and in info i will add one message the save api data function called i will save this line to check the error logs we need to go to the reports and and go to the recent log messages so here right now you can see there are there is only one system message now i will trigger this function so that it will log this message to the db so this is the path to access this function or to call this function now we will go to the this log and refresh so here you can see the type the model name which we have mentioned here is added inside the type and uh, message type was info if i select on this info it will filter the info only and here you can see the our message is logged inside the database second suppose now i want to log the response of this api into the db so for that we can log the variables like this way i will change the this text to the api response at the rate data after that we need to mention the array data dollar response you can save this and uh, again call this function it will log the response from the api 
and I will refresh this page. So here you can see the API response. This is the API response we got from the API. And uh, we need to store the API response in the form of JSON. And uh, if I try to log this array into, into the logs, so it will not work. I will show you that also. Refresh it. So here you can see it is not showing any response. We need to store the data in the form of JSON or the text. Now again I will change it to the response as a JSON. We'll add here JSON. Again I will replace this page. where you can see the we are able to log the data in the form of json so you can add the different types of loggers suppose i want to log the critical or the notice for that i will copy this function then go to the function and uh, just below that Drupal. logger hello underscore word notice this is notice again refresh this page go to the loggers So it is not showing the notice because we have filtered the data for the info only. I will add the notice as well. So you can see here the notice is available. So this is the one way like calling this uh, global global function. Now if we want to log these messages using the dependency injection for that we need to include the container interface symphony component dependency injection container interface next is the logger channel factory interface so, Drupal O logger factory interface logger channel factory interface and inside the class we need to create the constructor so first we will declare the one variable logger channel factory interface service add the right variable and our variable name will be logger Protected dollar logger. After that, we need to create the constructor public function logger channel factory interface and the variable logger.
after that dollar this logger again we need to create the one static function public static function create container interface from the container to that return new static container gate and the logger service name logger the factory so many times we need to use the call this function using the dependency injection so for that we have created the constructor and the create static function and in that we have called the service for the lab logger channel factory interface now instead of calling this we can use call this function using the dependency injection for that we need to use the dollar this logger and the gate we will change the message to the logger call using dependency injection logger and the gate so first we need to write the dollar this logger gate and the rest things are similar same way i will change it to the this also dependency initial i will add the di for that you can go to the this page and refresh it some error occurred i will check that so there are some error mistakes while typing the code first is the dependency we need to add the n second is the this is the construct and uh, and third one is the we need to include the logger so this is the correct path again go to the page and refresh this so in this way we can call the loggers using the dependency injection i will show you the logs as well so here you can see the api response json using the dependency injection logger call using di dependency injection so that's it from this video Please subscribe the channel and like the video. If you have any query or suggestions, you can add in the comments. Thank you for watching.